Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I have a couple of little gadgets here, and if you saw a recent video of mine featuring this, this is a MIDI kalimba prototype. Now, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it up over here so you can check it out, because um, I'm not gonna go over everything that's in that video. But this now is the production model. So Sheila sent me this prototype to check out, and now this is one of the first batch of the production model. So obviously the color is different, but additionally you see there's a different number of tines um, on the production one versus the prototype. More about that in a second. If you look at physically, aside from the color, over here on the side, you can see the prototype had four buttons here, and Sheila did tell me that that was never intended to be the end state. Now on the production model, we have two buttons and a little wheel, um, up-down wheel. So it kind of ratchets back to that center position, if you can see that. This is so much better. I like this so much better. Uh, other than that, it looks quite similar. If we look at this end, you'll see basically the same I.O. here. Um, we've got the uh, power and MIDI USB on this side and then the TRS breakout for uh, standard 5-pin MIDI over here. You might just be able to see on the production model, the um, Pi here is mounted uh, surface mounted to the bottom board, whereas here it's actually mounted on um, little pin risers. I don't know if you can see that or not. So it does sit just a little bit lower. Other than that, you don't see a whole lot of difference here with this little controller board that's there. I'm not even sure if you can see that. She moved the um, this one, the ribbon cable goes up to this end and this one it goes to this end. Looks a little more tidy that way. But other than that, and there really doesn't seem to be too much difference between the two. So I'll go ahead and plug in the prototype first. I know you've already seen that, but now I did upload the new firmware that this one has. She sent me a download to that so I could upload it here. One of the first things you notice, she changed the menu system here. So you can see the key, the octave, and the scale all at once. And then when you go down to here, you can see the velocity setting, the channel, and the program all at once. Just to remind you of what it sounds like. Now with that um, velocity feature that she added, because I did talk about that in my first video, it does respond to the, how hard you hit it, which is actually a really nice feature. On the production one, again, you see the exact same menus, um, but I do like this click wheel so much more. So you see this one set up the same way. So nicer that we get more tines there. At least that one, because now we get the octave. Now, one of the things that Sheila pointed out to me that I didn't really think about before that um, was that when you have the tines set up like this, because you got first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh octave, and then we start over, right? Or, well, I guess octave starts over, so then second again. What that means is if you go one, two, three, you get the major or the arpeggio, right? But it doesn't stop there. You have the arpeggio there. Three, there's the arpeggio. Four, and five. Look at that. Now, one thing that I noticed, if you look at this one, this is the largest time, the visually largest time, and this is the smallest time, and this is the lowest note, and this is the highest note. Here, this is our visually smallest time, and this is our vis visually, visually largest time. The tines get larger as you go up the scale, whereas over here, the tines get smaller. Like I said, I'm just dying for that next tongue over that octave, though. Now, you can still do... You can still do chords there and you still get the first, or the third, excuse me, of those. This isn't just a kalimba, like a digital version of a kalimba. It's a MIDI controller that is pre-quantized to a scale or a mode that you can change all these little things like your your key and, and, your, and your scale or mode and your octave and all of that. And so let's just play around with that a little bit.
Chor. So there you have it, folks. There's kind of some of the differences. So the firmware, the implementation of velocity, the changes to the menus, all very welcome. The new control, very welcome. The layout, um, I think, you know, you might gravitate towards one or the other. And Sheila actually said she may offer both of them in the production version, the nine tongue and the seven tongue. As I kind of showed there, the seven tongue does have a nice advantage to it and it is really intuitive. I love the spacing of these but you have so much more flexibility when you have all those tritones just right at your fingertips, which is just a really neat feature. So honestly, I can't wait to use these little babies in an actual recording uh, context. I think they're just gonna be really flexible and really great to have around, and they're so small. I mean, they just fit anywhere. You can keep them around. They're just, you know, really cool pocket-sized, and I just really think she came up with a great thing here. She's got some more stuff in the pipeline. She actually showed me some photos of some of the stuff that's coming. I'm not gonna give any of that away, but uh, anyway, she does have these uh, on her website if you want to check that out and place an order for one there you go i will link her website in the description below thanks for tuning in and that was the midi kalimba